Hi, today we are going to discuss dental plaque in detail, right? First of all, we are going to understand what actually plaque is, what actually plaque is, right? So, what plaque is? It is clinically appeared as a structured and resilient yellowish gray substance that adhere to the intraoral tooth structures and other hard surfaces present in the tooth that include the removable and the permanent uh, restorations, right? It is composed basically of bacteria, bacterial byproducts, extracellular matrix and uh, water, right? It is t it, it uh, is a substance that is of yellowish color. It, it uh, adhere to tooth structures, adhere to tooth structures and other hard Real present tooth and it is composed of bacteria, their byproducts, their byproducts, water, and extracellular matrix. Right? Remember this. After uh, the basic definition of plaque, we'll move toward types of plaque. We have two major types of plaque that include the supragingival plaque supra gingival and we have sub gingival as name suggests supra means above and sub means below right and uh, this as this is a tooth structure right and this is the alveolar bone and the periodontium right the plaque present here is known as supra gingival plaque right and the plaque present here a uh, here somewhere is known as subgingival this is subgingival plaque right and this is a supragingival plaque right now we'll go into the detail of both of these plaques now for the supragingival plaque it is the plaque that is present in the gingival third of the tooth right it is present at gingival third right it is in direct contact with the marginal gingiva as it is in direct contact margin it is also known as marginal uh, plaque right marginal plaque why because it is in direct contact with the marginal gingiva right this superintervial plaque is present exactly one hour after cleaning of tooth right cleaning of tooth now come towards the composition of uh, this uh, supergingival plaque. It is it is composed of bacteria and non-bacteria. The bacterial portion contains 80% and rest 20% is non-bacterial portion. In bacterial portion, it contains cocci, it contains roi, and both are gram positive, right? While uh, it also has a mycoplasma it has yeast and it has other uh, viruses right for the non-bacterial portion it contains 20 percent non-bacterial portion in non-bacterial portion we have further divided into organic and inorganic in order to understand everything in detail right the organic portion in or it has uh, glucose it has saliva it has uh, gingival uh, clavicular fluid right and um, and the bacterial byproducts right while inorganic portion contain calcium and phosphorus and small very little amount of magnesium and sodium right this is all for the supragingival plaque as it is present in the gingival third and it is very close to the marginal gingival or known, also known as marginal plaque and it is present uh, one hour after tooth uh, after to clean the tooth right it is a composition composed of bacterial and non-bacterial product bacterial product are the 80 percent that contains gram positive cocci and rods mycoplasma yeast and viruses right and the non-bacterial portion contain 20 percent they are further divided into organic and inorganic organic portion contain glucose saliva and the gingival clavicular fluid while the inorganic portion contain calcium and phosphate in, uh, in a huge amount while the sodium and magnesium are present in very low amount right now come the sub gingival plaque as we have already uh, studied in a diagram that it is found below the gingival margin between the tooth and the gingival cervical tissue. Below gingival margin, present between the gingiva and circular fluid. Between gingiva and circular fluid. 
right? It is uh, related to the devil sulcus and peroneal pocket. Organisms in which are involved in the superdevil plaque are those that can easily live in the uh, in low oxygen saturation condition that includes the anaerobic. Why anaerobics are present in it? Because as it is present below the margin, there is low oxygen uh, concentration, so only anaerobic bacteria can grow in that conditions. They can get their nutrients from the uh, cellular fluid, right? So now comes uh, the relation of the subject level plaque. It is a uh, structure similar to that of the uh, structure of a subject level plaque is similar to the uh, subject level plaque, right? As they also have a gram positive uh, cocci and rods, right? The only that its surface appear granular and it plays a very important part in formation of calculus and root caries as is present below the gingival margin, right? Root causes root caries. The gingiva, uh, the epithelium is uh, loosely adherent to this uh, type of uh, plaque, right? Now, the extent of uh, epithelium in this is from the gingival margin to the junctional epithelium up to junctional epithelium, right? One portion of this uh, uh, subgenital plaque is in direct contact with epithelium and the other is in direct contact with the lumen of the pocket. It contains gram-positive rods, cocci and also have spirochetes. Remember this thing, right? It has also has spirochetes. This is all for the subgenital plaques. Now we're going to st uh, uh, study the, how the plaque formation takes place.